This is a brief overview of using RSS with Sage 2, an add-on for Firefox 3. If you don't have Firefox installed, you can do so now by navigating to mozilla.com. Once you have Firefox 3 installed, you can search for, download, and install Sage 2. You can either do a search in the search engines for Sage 2 Firefox extension, or follow any of the links that accompany this video. Online activities like reading the news, blogs, watching videos, searching Craigslist, and a variety of other sites are aided by RSS. Sometimes you don't have enough time to do everything that you want to do. This was Bob's situation, until recently. Bob took a couple minutes to learn how to use RSS feeds. As a result, he is now a lot more efficient. This video will help you become a lot more efficient too. Because Bob is an avid reader, he checks the news in quite a few different blogs every day. It can take some time. If the content on the blog hasn't changed since his last visit, it makes for an inefficient day. Before RSS, Bob had to visit each site individually. All things said and done, it took Bob a lot of valuable time to get up to speed with all of the sites that he frequented. When you use RSS, updates are given to you when they become available. That means you don't have to search each site. The news is brought to you. A lot of tools require you to scan the page and look for RSS feeds, not with Sage 2. Since Bob's at his computer now, let's go ahead and take a look and see what he's actually doing with Sage 2. I can see that Bob's on the Today's Best Tools blog. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. From this zoomed in view, you can see the Sage 2 add-on in your toolbar. It looks kind of like a leaf. When you click it, the Sage 2 pop-up opens in the same window. Some of the major features of the Sage 2 add-on is the ability to refresh all of the feeds that are in your list. The feeds are located within all of these files. By clicking on refresh, it automatically goes through and it checks all of your feeds for updated content. You can add new files by right-clicking and selecting a new folder. For the page that you're on, you're able to quickly scan the page to discover if there's any feeds. Sage 2 quickly scans the page and gives you a list of feeds that are available on the site. As you can see, I have two feeds available, one for my blog posts and another RSS feed for the comments on the blogs. So we'll grab the main blog post feed and add it to Sage 2. You can view the feeds by clicking on the feed itself. You'll see that the RSS feed brings in the data from my site, only it's in an XML view. Within an XML view, you can still click on the links. You just don't have the same styling as the page that you normally go to. At any point in time, you can go to the site by clicking the main heading at the top of the page. To move your folders and files, you just click, drag, and drop. And to open up each of the folders, you simply click, and all of the newest updated content of the feeds that you have on your list are presented to you. You can see that if I click on the updated feeds button, there's actually a lot more feeds that I'm tracking in each folder. They just don't have the updated content. Likewise, if I want to see all of the documents, all of the feeds that I have, I simply click here to toggle all folders open. closed. You can save and move your feeds using an OPML document. It's just a file that you're able to import and export from one aggregator like Sage 2 to another. Working with RSS feeds is really that simple. With practice and incorporating a few additional tools, you can easily manage data from thousands of sites across the web. Let's do a quick overview from a big picture perspective. RSS feeds are those little orange buttons that you find on the web, and they're really easy to work with. An RSS feed is simply a document for carrying information. By leveraging RSS feeds, you can take a lot of data from the internet and use it to your advantage. Sage 2 is an aggregator or a collector of RSS feeds, and you can save and you can export your RSS feeds as an OPML file. An OPML file is just a file, and you can export and import 
your RSS feeds to a variety of aggregators around the web. RSS feeds are just one more tool that you can use to increase your productivity and efficiency while working on the internet. This has been a Today's Best Tools screencast. Thanks for checking us out on the web at todaysbesttools.com. A special thanks goes out to Dabbleboard for allowing me to use the online whiteboard. You can use it yourself for free. Go to dabbleboard.com. Thanks for watching.